it's a warm up to make sure you're ready. What? I'm not even gonna cut it. I'm not gonna do a second take. Before you get into exercise, that you warm up, that is essential. That is key. Okay, you need to prepare your body, ready for the activity ahead. So this is important to do before your fitness test, before every single workout. Okay, I'm not gonna keep reposting the same warm up because um, the warm-ups can be repetitive but it's important that you still do the warm-up so you're ready to burn more calories something i'm going to say as well um, which i should have attached to start with is if you have a heart rate monitor like this one um, which is a samsung one if you've got an apple one if you've got any type of fitness monitor that measures your heart rate and tells you how many calories you burn that's something you also want to share so before we get into this you know what i could have done this off camera right i'm going to Put a workout on and i'm going to see how much calories i burn and again this is something we can compare with each other to see not who's working the hardest it's not a competition all the time i'd like it to be but it's not and just see how, how much we can do so yeah let's get that started and let's get the warm-up started so what i want you to start with is arm circles in boxing not today we're using mainly the legs but we use our shoulders a lot and it's a lot of shoulders a lot of boxers get hunched shoulders because they're so tight so we're going to kind of loosen our shoulders off all i want to do make sure i don't touch the ceiling is just rotate one arm after the other like so so just one arm one arm one arm one arm and then both out one at a time like what exercise is this like or what activity is this like you guessed it i guarantee 90 percent of you guessed that right okay swimming let's go backstroke then if you can swim good just get immobile I really needed this good way to wake up good way to start and this is good to do just to open your shoulders honestly just do it when you're walking into town or when you're in the car no don't do that really people look at you weirdly but do it to open up okay just open up the chest here right the way out okay right the way out good perfect okay so we're going diagonal now you probably start to feel it in your shoulders especially if you've never done some of these exercises before the warm-up will feel a bit like a workout or is it just me good so we're opening that up and just shoulder rolls forward a bit quicker and backwards for me good now just the neck okay up and down slowly again this is just mobile so the whole body's ready for exercise because even though you might think you're not using the muscle you could end up pulling it okay good everyone's favorite hip circles one way like you're hula hooping five six seven eight let's switch one two three four five six seven and eight good now if you need support i'm going to use my trusted bag here um what i want you to do is just grab a knee so one hand's on there the opposite hand comes across grabs the knee hugs it into the chest and we're gonna hold that, okay? Six, seven, and eight. Good. Swap over. So I'm gonna turn my back to you if I stop over. I've got the, the balance of a ninja, so don't worry about it. If you've got balance of a ninja like me, if not, support. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Good. So feet a bit wider, arms right the way up, go backwards slightly. Then come forwards again keeping the legs straight that's the main thing here okay we want to feel it if you feel it here hold it there if you can go a bit lower once you've got your place where you can feel it hold it and we're counting three four five six seven and eight good and just walk the feet up for me bring the hands down the back of the legs again keeping it all straight imagine i'm trying to get my chest to touch this part of my legs here okay called my quadriceps so i'm trying to go there and I'm holding four, five, six, seven, and eight. Okay, good. Now, so what I'm doing, and this comes into play when you're punching. If you can do this, you've got, you got a good chance of um, throwing a good right hook. Okay, so you're going to be on the balls of your foot. You can see my heels up. I twist one way and I twist the other way. So I'm taking my whole body the way that I'm twisting, okay, to really, really get loose. And this comes into play when you're twisting on punches. Um, because even though it's mainly your arms, if you're using it right, you're going to be twisting from the waist and you could get your hips could get really tight. So we need to make sure we're stretching them out. Okay, and they're footballing the favorite. They say over the gate. So just over, over, out, over. Okay, so turn the whole body to the side. 
pointing the toe outwards, straight forwards, down. Okay, like you stepping over a gate. Imagine there's a small gate. I step over the gate, I land. The other foot steps over, it lands. It lands, it lands. Same backwards. I'm gonna go back over the gate. Maybe there was a dog the other side of the gate, okay? Back over, <laughs> back over, back over, and back over. Good, okay, now just some basic stretches, okay? So one arm right across. This really hurts me, my shoulders are really tight. So one arm right across, we bring this one in. So the fist is facing towards me, we bring it right in. Yeah, I can feel it. Four, five, six, seven, and eight, and switch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight, and switch. Good. Shake that off. It goes round the back here. Yeah? So I'm grabbing the opposite shoulder blade. This one comes, it pushes down on my elbow slightly. Five, six, seven, and eight. Swap it over. One, two, three, four, five, six seven and eight good shake that off okay now the, the last two things we're going to do are really to get the heart rate going the heart rate going and this will take us to about seven minute warm-up uh, but yeah so we really want to do we'll do 30 seconds of this starting now what i want you to do is just opposite feet and this is like skipping for those that want to skip then you can do it a bit longer if you've got a skipping rope and go for it if not you want to go opposite foot okay so one feet one foot goes up one foot goes up one foot goes up that's all i'm doing constantly just bouncing on the spot okay but once you've got that rhythm start swinging your arms imagine you've got a skipping rope okay and eventually you'll be skipping like this eventually eventually i promise you will okay so let's just skip get the heart rate up okay as you're skipping imagine you're getting your knees up so like this get your rhythm for those that know skipping you know your rhythm for the others just have a thing okay so when the rope's coming down that's when you're gonna lift Rope's coming down, I lift, lift, okay, so go, get the knees higher, higher, higher knees, there you go, really get them up in the air, and then flick them up at the back, good, okay, for the last 10 seconds, we're going to go with something called a double hop, so you're going to go, okay, you're going to imagine you're swinging it twice, and you've jumped up, okay, I bet that looks crazy on camera, but that's what we're going to do, okay, get ready for 10 of these, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, ten. Get the skipping rope. Throw it down. The imaginary one. If you've got a real one, don't throw it down. It could break. Last part. See, it's got me working. Last part of this warm up is going to be um, just about the legs getting the legs really warm. I'm running. I'm running, man. We're going to call it or run, running woman, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> so jumping on the squat three times. And I say go. What you're going to do is sprint as quick as you can. Imagine you're racing against me. I'm super quick. Let's see if anyone watching this can run faster than I'm running, okay? It's not going to be hard, I'm exhausted. <laughs> Let's get ready. Round one, go fast. Two, three, four, five. Good, still jogging, still jogging. That's one round. Two more after this. And go. One, two, three, four, five. Good, good, good. Just one more now, okay? Make sure when you're running, you're really pumping the arms out as well. Last time before we wrap the warm-up up. And go. One, two, three, four, five. Keep going. Six, seven, come on. Eight, nine, ten. Woo! Really good warm. Hope you got ready, got the pulse going. Important now before we start and important throughout. Stay hydrated, okay? Water preferably, juice isn't bad. Stay away from the fizzy drinks. Let's get into the next part. Okay, day two, ready to go back into it. Empower online boxing. How are you doing? How are you all doing? Um, I know this ideally would have started on Monday, but we're here on Tuesday. It doesn't matter. No matter what day it is, we're going to get this work, right? We're going to get to work. All right, so... What have we done yesterday? Okay, let's go through it together. So, step one, feet shoulder width apart. Right, the strong hand, make a fist correctly, put it back. We go back to where we was, one leg forward, one leg back. We get into our stance, whatever your stance is, okay? This is my stance where I feel comfortable. So, I'm there, 
my lead leg, lead hand slightly out in front, elbow stay in. That was our stance, right? Next step was movement. When we're moving, the whole time I'm maintaining what? Correct. I'm maintaining the gap at all times, okay? So I'm making sure my feet are constantly where they need to be and never coming in. Because even if I come in and you get someone to push you a little, you're on your heels, okay? And imagine if you're coming in and you're moving past and you're here and you're on your heels, you don't want that to happen, okay? So always staying firm. That's the empower way. So we've done movement, we've done stance. The next part, what I really want to get into with everybody is that's punching if you didn't get it. Okay, so we're going to get into the punching right now. Okay, so from where we are now, not your hand you write with, your other hand. So your lead hand, so think lead leg, the same hand, the one there. What we're going to start with is a punch number one, which is also called a jab. This is probably the most thrown punch in any type of martial art. Okay, so if you can master this, you can win any fight. Okay, not that we're fighting. We're going to get to the rules, but you can, this is a, it's a good move. Let's just say it's a good technical move that you're never going to use when fighting, unless you're competing. That's a possibility. You are, some of you are looking good. I've, I've heard the feedback, okay? So again, stats from where we are, elbows in. This one's slightly in front. This is already closer. So this is my opponent, okay? This hand's already closer, okay? So what I want to do with this hand, I don't want to load up on this punch. I'm not looking for a lot of power on this punch and we're not hitting anything anyway, okay? So... What we want to make sure is, from where we are, elbow stay in, I start turning my hand and my arm, okay, I'm rotating it all the way over, you see, slowly I'm turning, I'm turning, I'm turning, bam, so when I'm landing, I'm landing with the knuckles, palms parallel to the floor, facing the floor, okay, this one stays glued to the chin, I'm not dropping it, and then I twist it back to where it came, I'm not going like this, I'm going forward, that's the, the first no-no, but I see it a lot. Um, the other thing I see is, ah, ah, again, like we're not letting, we're not trying to give them that, that chance where they can counter us. Imagine we're facing an opponent. If I'm like that, what's going to happen? Boom. Okay. And if I do this, they're going to see it coming in again. Boom. Okay. So keep it nice and short, nice and sharp. So watch me again and we'll do 10 together. So this is punch number one, also called a jab. So from here again, I go turn it out, turn it out, turn it out. Bam. Okay. I'm also turning the shoulder and I like to twist from the hip as well. Okay. So I twist the hip, I twist the shoulder, bam, they all turn to the side, my punch goes straight, okay, and it comes back. Twist it out, I'll show you here. Twist it out, twist it back. 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 That's punch number one. So anytime I call one, throw that out, okay? So what I'm gonna do is call a few ones. I want you to be nice and loose in your stance, and as soon as I say one, throw it out, okay? So let's get ready. Nice and loose. Imagine when I said one, that's when we see the opportunity, okay? One. 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 Doesn't have to be super quick as long as you're technical with it. One. Good, right the way out. One. To move around, if you've got the space, move around. If not, stay where you are. One. 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 One, one. That's what we call a double jab, okay? Or, or a double one, if you want to go that far. So when I say one, one, go there, halfway back so you get enough power, and back out, okay? Not like this. Okay, we go there, one, okay? So see, that's a bit extra. I'm giving you, like, your, your bang for the money, okay? Bang for the buck. So from where we are, one, one, back, okay? So one, one, back, all right? One, one, back. Go on. one, one, back. One, one, back. Good, just a few ones. One. 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 And one. How did you find that? Okay, I know you, this is what I mean, why it's important to warm your shoulders up, okay? Because you feel it a lot in the shoulders when you're, when you're doing these warm-ups, so it's important. Okay, so we've done one. What, point, what numbers after one? Correct, okay? Punch number two. So when we throw punch number two, what we want to do is exactly the same. The only difference is, remember we said on day one with our stance, we turn the back foot off to an angle, and I got to correct that. I said three, which is not right. You turn it off to two. I was caught in the moment. You want to turn it off slightly here, okay? So if you can see my feet. So one, some people like to pivot on one. We're not going to do that today. This That's for another video, another day. When we throw two, same thing. So we're still leaving it from there. It leaves from the chin. Only difference is we turn this back leg out, okay? So we go on the ball of our feet. We should always kind of be on the balls of our feet, okay? Unless we're really digging into shots. 
So we twist our foot as we punch. So at the same time, see the both turning, the both turning, the both turning. This one stays up. The both turning, the both turning. Bam. And we're there. Straight out. I'm looking straight down. Twisting back to where I was from. So again, watch. Twist. Back. Okay, and that's punch number two. So what? That's just your backhand, not number one. That's just number two. So a few more. I twist. My toe is pointing the way that I'm punching. I'm not going too far over because I lose my balance. I'm not going back. I just twist on it. Small twist on it. Twist it back. Okay? Twist. Twist. So that's punch number two. Anytime I call two, there, and back. Okay? So let's throw a few twos together and see where we are with it. Okay? So all it is is just getting that twist and the motion. Once you've got it, you, you'll be able to fly through it. Okay? So just two on its own. This one stays glued. Okay? So two. I like to throw this a bit more technical rather than rush it. Two. 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 One step back, then two. One step forward, then two. Good. Two. 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 Always twisting, okay? Two. And two. And stay up. Good. Okay, so let's pull it together. Let's put, as we started to do then, some of the movement and the punches. If you want to do more on the one and the two, punches one and the two, by all means, go back to that. We are going to put one, two together and then the movement. We're going to speed it up, get our heart rate working a bit before we get into some of the other stuff, okay? But if you want to recap it, by all means, do that. If not, let's go forward. Okay, on to our second segment, okay? We're gonna do the one-two movement and then get onto one of our famous games. Before I do that, I wanna give you a bit of um, advanced advice, not even advanced advice, something you should be doing, but even some professionals don't do, and that is <sighs> breathe. One, do it with me, okay? Just honestly, really, let's go. When's the last time you really took a deep breath, okay? No, that's just getting you ready for it. That's one thing we're going to start doing. It's called box breathing, but that's for tomorrow's lesson. I am going to talk about breathing though. So when we're punching, you might notice that what I do, I usually exhale when I punch. So I'm here and I'm going, Ss. okay? Ss. Ss. Now all that is, yes, it sounds, it doesn't sound like breathing and that's not how, I don't, I don't sit down when I'm breathing and go, Ss. <laughs> okay, I don't do that. I promise you I don't. But what I'm doing, I'm exhaling, okay? Because a lot of the times we build up um, the tension in our body and we hold our breath. And we think by doing that, we can punch harder. No, it's going to get us out of breath way, way, way quicker. So get used to when you're punching, especially when, if you're doing, if anyone's doing pads at home or they're hitting something. But even now, when we're getting used to just, just punching in the air, every time you punch, just breathe out, okay? So we're there. If you don't want to do this, just go, but really get used to it. So you're here. Things will flow a lot more. Do, do both. Try both. Do 30 seconds where you're punching and really holding your breath, okay? Or maybe don't. Don't hold your breath. You might pass out and that's on me, okay? Disclaimer. I didn't say to hold the breath, okay, parents? I promise you. So <laughs> breathing. Make sure we're breathing throughout, okay? And you'll notice me doing it. And this is something just to build into your practice. See, sometimes... I'll give you advice like that. This is something to, for yourself to do when you're away and you're practicing these moves at home, okay? Let's bring it back to now. So we're going to include some movement and punches and bring it all together, okay? So before we do that, I want to put the one and the two together so we can start stringing it together, okay? So what we do, we're going to go one, bam, that's straight out. Two, there, right down the pipe. I'm not angling off. It's not those punches yet. We're going straight down the middle. Straight punches will always be looping punches anyway if you can develop the speed and just throw them straight down the pipe okay right right there that's what i'm looking for okay and if you're throwing them everyone throw them to someone that's like <laughs> not to someone imagine someone's your height and you're throwing it there so if my head's here i should be throwing my punches there okay there's no point me being this tall and me throwing down here okay be realistic with what we're doing be realistic with our practices so from where we are we're going to be here one goes out one comes back Two goes out, two goes back. The rule is one has to be at the chin protecting. I'm not going to do this. Okay, because 
because I bet that looks silly, right? But I see it, like, it might look silly, but I see it. Both hands are out, okay? Why do I not leave both hands out here? Exactly, because I might get hit. So why would I do it when I'm punching? Even when I'm punching, I have to still think about defense. Hence why I'm always kind of chin down and throwing because I'm always thinking about protecting myself. Defense comes first, okay? Attacking comes later. If you can defend, art of war. You Search up a quote on defense for me, okay? I'm not going to get into it now. I could. Again, that's probably for another video. But defending is key. Let's stay on, let's stay on topic here. Let's stay on topic, okay? So one goes out. This is by the chin. This comes back. Punch number one. Two goes out. Bam! This one's by the chin. Just in case to throw a hook, I can slip it up, which we're going to be doing tomorrow, okay? So one, that can protect there. Two, that can protect there, okay? So one, two with me, okay? One, two. One, two, back to where we was. And again, one, two, back to where we was. Let's go to the side. One, two, back to where we was that way. One, two, back to where we was. Now, I'm adding the movement in to make sure we're still getting the movement and the stance right from yesterday. Because if we're moving like this, and I say one, two, see how it's difficult? That means because you're not on stance. See, as we progress, we have to make sure we're hitting each section properly. So if you're moving and you realize you're on a tightrope where you can't throw the punches properly, that's because you haven't moved correctly. Nothing to beat yourself up about. You've only done one video that lasted half an hour, but it's something for you to note down and say, you know what? I realize when I move this way, I'm weaker. Okay, I know I can move one way stronger than the other. I've been doing boxing since I was 11 years old and still I'm, I'm learning. I'm still gaining skills every day. Okay, I like to think I am anyway. So from where we are anyway, backwards. One, forwards. One, two. This way, to your right. One, two, to your left. One, two, forward. One, two, backwards. One, two, forward. One, two, one, two. One, two, one, two. Left, one, two, right. One, two, right. One, two, forward. One, two, left. One, two, one, one, two. Woo! Serious now, one, one, two. One, one, two. One, one, two. One, one, two. One, two, one, two. One, two, one, two. Always pivoting. One, one, one. One step forward. One, two. One step back. One, two. One step to your left. Two, two. Really, you wouldn't throw two on its own. You'd always try and set it off with one. For the purpose of the fitness, I'd do it. A few more. One, two, one, two. One, two, one, two. One, two. One, two. One two, 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 one two. Good. Okay. For the next ten seconds, about we're gonna throw the one two as quick as we can. Imagine we've got our opponent on the ropes. Not like that. We're not gonna punch better than that. Imagine we've got our opponent on the ropes and we're just going as fast as we can. Okay. Speed. Okay. So for the next ten seconds. Let's just have a quick burnout with speed. You ready? See if you go faster than me. I'm always competitive. And go. Time. Okay, hopefully that would look quick. It looked quick to me. <laughs> How quick did it look at home? Did it look quick? Hopefully you lot was doing it quick as well. Let's move on to our game. Our next game, which is going to be coming up right about didn't see what the game was yesterday revisit yesterday's video this is coach says just to give you a quick one when coach says do something you do it if you don't again there's four different punishments okay if you get it wrong just note down how many times you've actually got it wrong okay and um, i'll stop every time i do it to be like i just didn't say coach says that means that's one punishment if you didn't move when i didn't say it that's fine keep going okay so let's get into it again if you want some more breakdown of the rules Watch how I did it yesterday with my son. Today is just me, so I need to be very, very direct. I'm not as good as, as speaking as him. Okay, so from where we are, this is my stance, okay? So watch me, I'm the coach now. So let's get ready. Coach says, one step forward. Good, make sure you're doing this at home, okay? I can see you, make sure you're in your stance as well. It's a bit, your stance is a little crooked right now. There we go, there we go. Okay, <laughs> that'd be really weird if your stance was actually crooked. Simon says, one step back. 
Simon says one step this way. Simon says one step this way. See, I'm saying Simon, coach, doesn't really matter. Simon says one step forward. Simon says one step backwards. One step forward. Did I get you? Because Simon or coach didn't say it then, okay? So Simon never said it. So I know people say they understand the Simon one a bit more, but that would be one punishment so far. If you move just when I didn't say, Simon says, that means one punishment. So let's keep going. Back in your stance. Nice and quick. Good. And one step this way. Didn't say it then either. I usually get people with that one because they're thinking, okay, I'm going to focus and move straight into it. And then they get caught out. Did I get you? Did I get you twice? Have I not got you at all in the two days? That would be a bit weird, a bit peculiar. Because I'm really good at this. Really, really good. Simon says, <laughs> one step forward. Simon says, one step backwards. Simon says, one step back. Simon says, one step this way. Simon says, one step this way. Simon says, one step forward. Simon says, one step back. Simon says, one step forward. One step back. Did I get you? No? Yes, if I did lock, lock that down, that would be three times. Three times, right? Lock down how many times I've got you. Simon says, one step forward. Simon says, one step forward. Simon says, one step this way. Simon says, one step that way. Either way you're moving at home, doesn't really matter. Simon says one step this way as long as you're moving to the side. Simon says one step this way. Simon says one step back. Simon says one step forward. Simon says one step back. One step this way. Did I get you then? Did I get you every single time? Because I thought I was in my flow today. Did I get you? No? No. That's interesting. Okay. So I'm going to do it two more times. Now, to make it a bit harder for those that think, oh, this is easy. Coach, coach is, coach is easy. Coach is not easy. And I'll show you. Okay, so we're going to add punches in as well as movement now. Okay, so in your stance, so I'm going to say, coach says, have I gone back to saying coach says or Simon says? It doesn't really matter. I say coach says just because I like to say coach says. Coach says one, two. Coach says one, two. Coach says one step back. Good, make sure we're listening now. Coach says one step forward. Coach says one, two. Coach says one step this way. Coach says one step this way. Coach says one, two. Coach says one, two, one, two. Coach says one step forward, coach says one step backwards. One, two, did I get you? Did I get you? Coach did not say to throw the one, two. Don't say you're getting confused because I switched it from Simon to coach. No, 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 I'm just really good at this. If you was listening, you wouldn't have moved, okay? Good, back in your stance, last one, last one. Simon says one, two, one, two, one, two. Bam, 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 bam. So I'm going back to saying Simon. This is all com to confuse your head, okay? But stay focused. Coach says one step this way. Coach says one step this way. Coach says one step forward. Coach says one step back. Coach says one step forward. Coach says one step forward. Coach says one step back. Coach says one step back. One step this way. One, two. One step this way. One, two. One step forward. I said a few different ones there. Hopefully I would have got you. Because I know there's some people at home that are not moving. Um, and I have a gut, so hopefully that little thing got you. How many times did I get you? If it's six times, choose six of the different exercises on the document. Get your parents to download the document so you can see the different um, punishment, I guess, activities. They're just exercise blocks. They're not really punishments. Some people like to do them. Some people never move on Simon Says, and they're just like, you know what? I want to get fitter. So if you want to get fitter, pick a few, do a few. And then, then we're going to move on forward with our exercise circuits, okay? That's going to develop. Bah, 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 bah. That's quick hands. They didn't look that quick just. But that's what you want to do. You want to do it better than me. So do you this, okay? It's time to build strength building part of our warm-up. This is where we're going to build some of the, um, I'd say, some of the requirements needed to throw fast punches, to move around quickly, to throw big, heavy punches, whatever it is. Our, our skills and exercise part develops that. Today is going to be a bit more upper body focused um, and cardiovascular, which is just making sure we don't run out of breath and we're building it up. I'm building it as well as you, like I really am, okay? So three different exercises, same format, 45 seconds on each. You have a 15 second break. You give it your all every single time. That's all I ask. If your all is eight and you've really tried, guess what? You're winning. That's better than someone that can do 20 and does 15 and settles, okay? Do as much as you can do. First exercise, what we're going to be doing, so just watch now and then we'll get into it, is what's called, I call it like an X jump, okay? So, or, <laughs> yeah, a X jump for a lack of a better word. So start wide, okay? What you can do is just do that. If you haven't got the space, do that. If you have got the space, what I'd like you to do is start wide, then jump into the middle. So I've gone forward and I'm going forward again, jump out, okay? And I'm doing the same back, almost like an X shape, right? So middle of the X, bottom of the X, okay? 
middle, top. So you'll be doing that constantly. I do it from the side as well. So wide, in, out, in, out, in, out. Okay, so that's the X jump, okay? That's what you really want to be doing. And we're doing that for 45 seconds, really, really pumping it out. The second thing, what we're going to do is wall press-ups, okay? Now, first thing you say to be careful, okay? Make sure that when you're leaning, it's not too much because if you get tired, you might fall and hit the wall, okay? So you want to be, start straight, hands on the wall, just take about a step back, okay? A natural step back. And all we're going to be doing for 45 seconds is just going straight here, head stays up, so I can see what I'm doing. When I'm tired, I can shake it off and go again. If you haven't got a wall that's um, accessible, use a chair. Okay, I haven't got a chair here, but say if this was the, the, the make sure your pair of chairs not gonna break again, okay? If that was the chair, I could use it here. This isn't the best thing to use it with, but you can use a chair. If you haven't got a chair to use, then by all means, go on the floor. You can do knee press-ups. I prefer knee rather than the normal one. So look, I cross over and I'm here. Each and every time, 45 seconds, you're seeing how much you can do of those, okay? And then we're going to get up and work them both, okay? What we're going to get up and do after that is 20, 20, 20, and continue that loop. So we're going here, 20 punches diagonally. So we're not really aiming for anything as such. We're just really pumping and working the shoulders from here. So we're here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 20. Straight, 20 punches. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 19, 20. Then 20 star jumps, okay? My, one of my favorites. 1, 2, okay? So 20 star jumps. Those are the three different exercises we're going to do. I want you to do two rounds of those. If you can, if you can only do one round today, never mind, okay? So we're going to do a round together. Pause the video. We'll go back to the start of it. Do it again with me. Um, I'm doing one round, but if you can, either pause the video, do another round, or go back to the beginning, do another round. Whatever you want to do, just make sure after you've done the round, you stop it before you go forward, okay? So, let's get this show started. Have a quick drink if you need to have a drink now, okay? Because we're going to go in, let's say 10 seconds, okay? So just shoulder rolls forward. Let's get loose. Let's get ready. Three. Two, one, starting with the X jumps, okay? So we're here. Good. I've got the space to do, I've got the space to do the X, okay? But if you need to do this, that's fine. Still the same thing, okay? Again, I'll come here. Really see how much we can get. So if, you're, if you can do that the whole time, then power to you. I can't do it right now, but I'm sure I'll get there, okay? Keep going. We've got 20 seconds left. This is good work. If you want to level it up again, you can have some weights in your hands. A good practice as well. Everything that you do when you do this, try and keep the hands by the chin. It gets you used to that format. Under 10 seconds left. Woo. And time. Good. 15 second break. Shake it off. If you do need to get a drink, we'll get a drink. We're going for the war press ups in 10, just under 10 seconds, okay? So we're going to start there. Have a bit of a lean on the wall. And let's go. Good, just pump it out, okay? I'm happy to get a nice rhythm as long as I can stay consistent, okay? That's the key here. I can feel it in my triceps, this muscle, shoulders. Where are you feeling it? Are you feeling it? Good. Nothing wrong with if you need to come up and shake it off for a minute. Let's shake it off and get straight back into it. Remember, we've only got 45 seconds of work, so see how much we can do. 10 seconds left, everyone. Can we go hard the last 10 seconds? Of course we can. 10 seconds, make it the best 10. Keep going. And time. Good. Bring it in. Last. Last one coming up, okay? So, 20, 20, 20, okay? In your own time, okay? So get it ready. Three, two, one. Start with the diagonal punches. So we're here. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirty, forty, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Straight out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirty, forty, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Star jumps, okay? Good star jumps. We'll clap every time. Five, six, seven, 
8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Back to that. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 10, 11, 12. Keep going. Don't have to be on my time, okay? This is about how much you can get. Okay, time's up, but finish whatever you're on. So I didn't start my, I was on my star jump, so I'm going to finish those. One, two, three, four, five, six. Always finish what you started, okay? Never leave anything unturned. No stone unturned. That's the way to build. Build character. 90, 20. Good. Good. Three different exercises, okay? Give it your all. Too easy? Do a minute. Do a minute on each. Don't have a break, okay? Just go all the way through it. Different things you can do to make it hard. Overall, I was happy with what I did. Pause it, go back to the beginning of the three minutes, do it again. We'll pause the video, do your three minutes on your own, on your own timer. After that, come on back this way. <laughs> the moment you have all been waiting for. Since yesterday, I want to say I didn't give her the best performance, but today I will. Beat the coach. Can you? Can't you? We'll see. Today's exercise is going to be mainly working the legs, but also your cardiovascular. So we're going to be doing 30 seconds of this activity, and it's aimed to push. It's aimed to push. Um, I'll be recording myself because my son isn't here, but I will make sure you get 30 seconds. If you don't believe it's 30 seconds, you can always double check, okay? So... This is going to be called knee get, so I'll show you before I get into it, okay? So what you want to do, and make sure we're following the rules here. One knee down to the ground, other knee down to the ground. One knee up, other knee up, two punches, okay? So down, down, up, up. Okay, and that's one, that's one every time you do that. So you'd be here, every time you finish put, throwing your last punch, that's one. That's two, okay? 30 seconds, I'm gonna see how much I can do. You're gonna see if you can be the coach. Let's see, and then let's see what you get overall. Post what you get. I wanna see really who gets the highest on this. I wanna see what's a good measuring stick, okay? Obviously it's not about you not competing, I just wanna see where you are. Um, overall, you've seen if you can beat me. Maybe I can't be beat, maybe I am the, the elite. Let's see. Quick thing though, make sure the floor around you is soft. I have matted area, so it's not too bad for me. If you don't, make sure you have some type of, again, ask your parents, but a pillow, put it on the floor so you're not gonna damage your knees. If you're doing it outside, again, preferably do it on grass, and again, make sure it is, it is spongy enough for you to do it, okay? Um, other than that, you're gonna have to get something pull me down. I don't need to damage your knees or even get dirty outside, okay? So have a think before you start this, okay? Because I thought, and I think I'm gonna win. I'm gonna start in three seconds, okay? Two, one, and I go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, woo, twelve. 13, 14, and time. No, 15, no, 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 that was, I could have got like two more in. 15, I could have got two more in, I could have done 16. Ah, doesn't matter, I felt like I gave my all. I did what I could do, and you can see, I had my timer today on my watch. I'm not, haven't got a lot. So if you're at home, haven't got a lot around you, look at your clock, okay? Look at your clock starting there. Have your phone do the time while you watch me on your TV. If you're on your phone, get the time off the TV, do whatever you can do. Just try to make sure your time is accurate, especially as I don't want to lose. So, whoa, that's, that's really good work. So 15 is what I managed in 30 seconds. It's not bad, it's not the best, it's not bad. <laughs> what have you got though? Do this, set it down, pause the video, have your 30 seconds or do it. Rewind it and do it as I'm doing it. So do it in my time, because my time might be slightly skewed. Do it with me. Post, tell your parents to post what you got. If you can post a picture, 
great or a video of you doing it so I can see it, seeing is believing and, um, <laughs> and yeah, that's great, okay? So do that for me.